Hey guys, Carl here, and I'm filming with James, my mind man. So, welcome to German Body Composition Method. What is it, how does it work, what does it stand for? GBC short, but German Body Comp. It's a method popularized by Charles Poliquin, and it can be of two different ways. The main way that we like to use is upper and lower extremities. So when you're training uh, your upper body, we're gonna be training biceps, we've trained triceps, we can do chest or back. Once you finish your set close to failure, you're gonna be fatigued. We're then gonna go work a different implement, being your quads, your hammies, whole lower half. And so whilst you're working your lower half, your upper half is recovering. This allows us to create a great metabolic response. So it's really good for mobilizing fatty acids because um, wherever blood goes, fat gets mobilized. It also stimulates growth hormones. So it's actually gonna help you with getting probably deeper sleep and then that'll help with recovery and building muscle. So that's the first variation that we particularly like to use at Vitruvian Health. The reason being is it's more time efficient, you get to work and rest. And the second variation, or the second reason why we like to use it, is using it from an agonist antagonist. Short, if your bicep's working, your triceps resting, and then we work the tricep because it has a compensation effect. So what can happen is when we fatigue the bicep, the opposing muscle will upregulate in strength in a 60 second window. That means once we fatigue that muscle fiber, we have 60 seconds to get started on the opposing muscle group. If we take too long, then obviously it recovers and we might not get that adaptation of strength. How big is it? I don't know the percentage, I just know that I find for a lot of people they do notice an improvement when they're training. It could also be because if we send blood to this area, there's a little bit of cushioning for that joint, so it's a little bit safer, and so we can push that a little bit harder with the decreased risk of injury. So those are the two ways that we use GBC, and that's why we like to use that type of method. We also call it the general body prep. Now, the only real difference is <clears throat> with GBC, it's more from a body composition perspective, GBP, general body prep, general body prep is designed to work on the restrictions and limitations. So if you have kyphosis, shoulders rounded, and you've got tight hip flexors, well, we're probably gonna be working on some pec wide flies to open up the posture, and then we're gonna be working those hip flexors as well. So that's that upper lower extremity as well. The difference is, one's to really push you hard, like pretty much to failure, so you really annihilate the body. Um, and that improves body comp. GBP, we look at from a structural perspective, and that's where we would um, work on the structural limitations, get you stronger, more mobile, so then we can train really hard and smash her. So just know that those are the differences and variations that we have, and they're our main programs that we use. When we're doing these programs, you're gonna find that we like to do sets of five, five, and what that means is if you're doing three sets, you're technically doing a total of 10 reps, but strength is the skill, and that's what we're looking to attract here, to get better at the movement and work on that skill. And by doing five, have a quick 10, 15 seconds rest that allows your body to recover a little bit, then we do another five. So that allows us to lift a little bit heavier, teaching you how to lift load and really work that skill. So then when we go to train really hard, you obviously know how to handle heavier loads, and then you're able to just really push yourself close to failure, knowing that your form is on point the entire time. Now, if we look at this pyramid that we've got over here, it's known as the pyramid of performance. So the bigger the base, or your stability mobility, the greater the peak of performance. Most people's base is quite small, so therefore they have a limited potential for being able to push themselves. That's why we focus on GBP first, and then we start to work on the GBC methods or GVT methods, or any other training program itself. Because the stronger you are, the more mobile you are, the less likely you are to hurt yourself, and the harder you can train in the gym and out. Enjoy.